What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Plan. Today is our first episode in Grow Lights 101. This is going to be a series where I explain everything there is to know about Grow Lights and this first episode is going to be about the cost of electricity, how to calculate it, and how to determine which light would be cheaper to run over time and is more efficient. So let's check it out. All right, as part of my uh, Grow Light 101 series, I'm going to show you something super important and that is how to calculate the cost of your Grow Light. I'm going to cover two main concepts and that is the actual electricity cost of your Grow Light. And then on top of that, I'm going to show you how to kind of find out whether or not it's worth it to buy a certain grow light compared to another one based on efficiency and money savings over time. So before we can start calculating anything, you have to understand what a kilowatt hour is. And this is going to be our most important unit of measurement when doing any of these calculations. And what is that unit of measurement? Well, it is 1000 watts or one kilowatt sustained for one hour. This is how your energy companies calculate your electricity usage. Now the average across the United States is about 13 cents per kilowatt hour, but this can vary greatly based on where you live. It could be cheaper or more expensive. So we're just gonna use 13 cents for our calculations. So we'll start really simple. And if we were running a 1000 watt grow light for one hour, we would be charged one kilowatt hour, which would be 13 cents. Another simple example is if we were running two 500 watt LED lights at the same time for one hour, we would be charged for one kilowatt hour because the two added up equals 1000 obviously. However, if you only had one grow light that was using 500 watts per hour, it would take two hours to reach your kilowatt hour marking and then that's when you'd be charged 13 cents. And one more time to really further illustrate this, a 100 watt light running for 10 hours will hit your one kilowatt hour, so it would only be 13 cents. So you could run this light for 10 hours a day and it would be charged 13 cents a day. So now let's do a little study just to see how much electricity we'd be using and paying for daily, monthly, and yearly. So in my scenario, I have a 100 watt grow light and I'm running it for 12 hours a day, which means we're gonna hit about 1.2 kilowatt hours worth of usage. If we multiply our 1.2 kilowatt hours times our 13 cents, we'll get 16 cents per day. Now that we have our daily rate of 16 cents, we can just multiply that by 30 to get our monthly rate, which is $4.80. I am rounding this a little bit, so if it doesn't match up exactly what you're doing on your calculator, that's why. And finally, to get our yearly, we just take our $4.80, multiply it by 12 because there's 12 months in a year, and that is how you get to the $58. All right, now that you understand the basic math and how to calculate your power usage, let me show you why this is important and the efficiencies of light are very important because over time, you can end up spending a lot more money buying a cheaper light than if you just invested in a slightly more expensive light with better efficiency. So let's check that out now. The two lights I'm going to compare are the most recent one I posted about, and that is the Mars Hydro TS600 watt. And then this is another company that I have not tested yet, but a lot of people have been telling me to get because it's really nice, and that is the HLG 65 watt light. From all the research I've done, these HLG boards are the best in the industry. They use the newer Samsung LEDs that just blow everything else away. They're way more efficient and their power values are much higher. So these two panels are very comparable in growth. I would say the HLG is actually slightly better from what I've seen online, but we're gonna compare the two and I'm gonna show you how efficiencies play out over time. So to get started, we're gonna start with the base wattages and the HLG is 65 watts, but the Mars Hydro is about 105 watts. And you can see that in my previous video. In this scenario, we're gonna run the lights for 15 hours a day. So if we multiply our wattage times the hours, we're gonna get our total amount of uh, kilowatt hours. The HLG panel is gonna be just under one kilowatt hour, while our Mars Hydro is gonna be 1.5 kilowatt hours. So if we expand that further, our HLG board is gonna be at 29.25 per month and its yearly uh, kilowatt hour usage will be 351. Our Mars Hydro monthly will be 47.25 and yearly 567 kilowatt hours. From there we can take our yearly kilowatt hours and we can multiply that by 0.13 which is our cents per kilowatt hour that we have to pay and for the HLG you'll see it's $45.63 and for our Mars Hydro you're looking at $73.71. That's a $28.08 savings. And if you look at the Amazon prices, you'll see it's actually gonna cost you more after one year of use to go with the Mars Hydro. So by spending that extra $20 to get the better light, you'll have saved yourself $8.08 .08 after that by just switching to the better light. And every year after your first year, you're saving a total of $28 compared to what you would have paid if you would have bought that Mars Hydro light. I just wanna make clear too that this HLG board is not the end all best board for every situation. 
We're going to go over a lot more different lights over the next few uh, episodes in this series and I'll explain to you when and where to use certain panels. Because that HLG panel is pretty much overkill for any house plants in my opinion. It's more for food production and other high output scenarios. But yeah, this pretty much sums up this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little dry maybe, a little technical, but I think it's necessary to kind of help you guys understand how much it actually costs to run these lights. You can calculate it yourself. And when you're buying lights, it's important to kind of see what chips they use, the wattage they use, so you can kind of calculate your cost over time because this can be an expensive hobby. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to the other ones in this series on Grow Lights 101. As always, may your plants grow strong and healthy. I'll see you next time.